Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome uh, to Epic Battle Fantasy 4. Uh, previously, we have finished Epic Battle Fantasy 3, and I did during, I think, like a winter sale, or like a fall sale that Steam was having. I was able to get my hands on the bundle that contains both Epic Battle Fantasy 4, Bullet Heaven 2, and Epic Battle Fantasy 5. So... We have, we're all set for the remaining Epic Battle Fantasy games, folks. So unless uh, our girl pal Matt Razak um, plans on doing anything else with this series, I would say we're getting close to the end. Well, then again, we do still have a ways to go, considering the fact that these games are pretty long. Well, I don't entirely know about Bullet Heaven 2, because I haven't exactly finished that game yet. I tried playing the Flash version of that game, and I'm not sure if it was my internet, or if it's because Flash just couldn't process the game, but I could not get it to work on when playing it on Armored Games. Nonetheless, this is it, folks. Presenting the players. Anna, the nature girl. Matt, the meat shield. Uh, then Natalie, uh, Fran uh, Lance, the gun freak, versus the foes. Of course, we've got our usual foes, like the Crystal Golem, uh, the Praetorian, okay, the Raflesia. Epic Battle Fantasy IV, let's begin. Metal earned, start the game already, and yeah, in case you didn't tell on the main menu, I, oh, I only had to smash a hundred idols to get that medal? Okay. Like always, I know there's the usual, like, secret medals, I think. Actually, no, I don't think any of these medals are hidden this time around. I'm certain I should be able to just, uh, get them all. Some of these medals I may go as far as to get offline, because some of them are pretty stupid and a bit time-consuming, so like always... I'll probably be doing those on my own time, but yeah, like always, we got our usual art stuff, and already, I'm getting medals for not even looking at everything. We got a lot of different fan art here throughout the games, as well as cutscene art that's, of course, locked. I'm guessing I don't get that until after I beat the game, but yeah, like always, a lot of art styles. Now that I think about it, I don't think I ever showed the art style uh like the entire art gallery for beating epic battle fantasy uh uh three because so i'm pretty sure i unlocked that okay i should probably shouldn't be spoiling too much i probably just spoiled a whole lot of the game there by showing that um you probably will all forget that though throughout our adventure hopefully uh like always we have our usual stuff like credits anything interesting in the op Okay, so, like every playthrough of this game, once again, I will be, um, oh, full screen mode, there's a full screen mode to this? Well, too late, I already have it set to this, and I don't want to have to go messing around just to do more. Uh, like always, I'm gonna change the difficulty to epic difficulty. Let's go, and uh, what do I want to go with here? Okay, new game. So, for those of you who remember that what happened in Epic Battle Fantasy 3, uh, the ancient demon Akron was defeated by three young adventurers and their pet cat, uh, Matt the Warrior, Natalie the Magician, and Lance the Gunman had saved the world and become living legends. Afterwards, the heroes pillaged towns for a living because they could get away with it. They saved the world from certain destruction, so it may be argued that they earned the right to everything within it. This behavior quickly made them many enemies. Jeez, even Natalie's getting in on this, okay. The one who initially was... I'm pretty sure in the previous game, like, Natalie was initially against stealing, but now she's just okay with it. With, yeah, probably the excuse that, you know, since they saved the world, that it's probably okay. Which, I mean, just because you're a hero and you saved the world, I don't think that means you should become a bad guy. Because clearly, 
for those of you Skyrim players, even if like you do all those amazing quests like saving the world from Alduin and everything, it's like you can still get arrested for committing crimes. Fast forward to today, a sacred jewel was stolen from the village of Greenwood. Local legends say that terrible things will happen if this jewel falls into the wrong hands. Anna, a young ranger and a resident of Greenwood, was very upset by this news. Anna quickly prepares to chase down the infamous trio who were spotted nearby and who she suspects must have taken the jewel. And so, an epic new adventure begins. So, there... Oh, I thought it was... Okay, I'm using the wrong controls. That... Oh, that's right. This game uses click controls. Super important tip. You can change the controls, difficulty, level, graphic, quality, and volume, and other stuff down here. I am going to change the controls to where it's keyboard, because I'm more comfortable with the keyboard controls. There is a lot here. We'll get to all of this eventually. Like always, you can press the space bar to interact with things. Upon this holy stump rests the Jewel of Greenwood, our most beloved treasure. Its aura blesses our village and protects us from harm. Do not steal. And of course, as we just seen, it got stolen. Uh, we got these torches here. We're going to need an item that we don't have yet to light that. This thing, this... Um, these are slime cats, and basically these things will teleport us to this little area here, which is kind of like the game's fast travel system, basically. Welcome to the warp zone. Grab onto a slime cat and get out of here. Exploring new areas will unlock more slime cats. I don't remember this one in the original game. I forget that this is the battle mountain. What is this? Okay, I don't think this we're supposed to be here yet. I, I forget that this is the deluxe version of Epic, Epic Battle Fantasy 4, because this is the Steam version. I sometimes forget that, but uh, that's probably something I'm going to save for another time. When I'm, you know, probably ready to do that. Until then, let's have a talk with some strangers. Ellie. <laughs> The Greenwood Jewel has protected our village for generations. How can we survive without it? The barren Ashwood Forest will spread over these lands and destroy our way of life. Calm down. I think you're overreacting a bit. Someone finally stole the Greenwood Jewel, huh? I always knew keeping it in such an obvious place was a bad idea. We need to get it back, though, or something terrible could happen. Leave it to me. I'll have it back here in no time. Oh, I thought there was a secondary dialogue for certain characters. Was I wrong to think that? Look around to, to walk and interact with stuff, but I guess you already figured that out. You can also go into the options and switch to keyboard controls. Uh, then you can use WASD or the arrow keys to move and the space bar to interact with stuff. So yeah, unlike the previous games where we could only interact with, you know, NPCs, uh, treasure chests, as well as, you know, enemies. Uh, we can interact with a lot more stuff here, so take the time to, if you see any, either anything shiny or something worth looking around, take a look carefully. Pool of healing. Keep the pool of healing clean, please. Bathing is strictly uh, forbidden. P.S. Do not feed the slime bunnies. So, an interesting thing. If you pay attention, you can see something in certain pools of water like this, where you can find a slime bunny, bunny which is basically your full heal system in this game that restores everything. The only way I'll get that treasure chest is if I walk on these lily pads, but I'm too heavy. Ah, our first side quest. Slime bunnies are very evasive creatures. Wearing their cat ears can boost your evade, but hunting them is illegal now. I do have a spare pair lying around though, wink wink. Okay, interesting. Slime bunnies are magical creatures who reveal themselves to those with pure hearts. In the wild, they can be found in ponds and rivers, but they can be quite hard to spot. Uh, they're also kept in buckets of water around town for good luck. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've got one at my house. They fully restore your MP and HP. You can change uh, stuff like 
a game difficulty at any time, and there's no penalty for doing so either, so feel free to play at your own pace. Easy mode is a joke though, you should be ashamed of yourself if you play on that. Yeah, and of course, I have played the original Epic Battle Fantasy 4 on Armor Games on you know, normal difficulty already, so really, I, oh, I forgot that was there. Uh, really, I, the only thing I can really do is challenge myself with epic difficulty. Oh, okay, we're not supposed to be over here yet. Hey there, chicken. I, okay, I just interacted with the chill chicken and got that achievement. Uh, road closed. The path through the graveyard has claimed too many souls. For your own safety, we suggest traveling through Ashwood Forest instead. Okay. Definitely looks like some stuff is going on over there, so yeah, probably best we stay away from that for now. And continue having a look around town. Okay, we already beat that, or we already activated that side quest. How are you doing? See those blocks over there? Well, uh, you can push those around. Aw oh, man, a lady shouldn't have to do that kind of work, but I think I'll manage. What item and I? No trespassing. I put these blocks here to keep you out. You'll never get past them. Oh, really? Used strength. Ah, nice Pokemon reference. <laughs> and we got some items already. Alright, ooh, Flare. Oh, yeah, Flare. Okay, so as we play throughout the game, if I open up my inventory here, uh, not only is there our weapon, headgear, and uh, armor... But we also have uh, these little charm slots where we can equip charms like these. So this is a badge that boosts MP. So as we play throughout the game, uh, we can get our hands on some better abilities and stuff. Uh, also, there's some... Uh, for being the start of the game, there's already a couple of different dresses you can choose from. I know the original uh, back in Epic Battle Fantasy 3, we kind of got that as well, but... Uh, Still, though, having that kind of variety right at the start of the game is really neat. Uh, be right, B. Uh, I've got uh, gone to find the hammer. These rocks are too heavy to move. Uh, again, that is another item we will get later on in the game. And then... So yeah, be sure to interact with everything. So these kind of buckets of water right here is where you'll be finding slime bunnies. And as note, please water my plants if I'm... Uh, I'll wait for too long. Okay, thanks. Of course. Uh, but yeah, take the time to carefully look around, because you never know if you may come across uh, something shiny, which can lead to you finding a few secrets. A uh, few. Also, there's pickupable items like this. Like we got some crisps here. So yeah, always be sure to look around. Was this place such a mess when I left? Hmm, it probably was. What do you mean? It doesn't look like a mess. I mean, then again, this is from an overworld perspective, so... What am I saying? Okay, oh! I see a chest behind the house. Now that I'm back here. Let me quick go get that. Although I thought there was another item that uh, I remember getting back in the original game. I wonder... I don't see it that this time around. Okay, I'm probably think. I mean, they could have removed it in the deluxe version for specific reasons. I'm sure those of you who played the original know what I'm talking about. Sarah. Hey, Anna. What's up? You're alone today. I finally dumped my loser boyfriend, by the way. After training for two years. Oh, no, no. Okay. Uh, after training for two years, he still couldn't defeat a slime. I need to find someone who can protect me in case anything bad happens, you know? I think you should learn some archery if, uh, you could learn some archery if you really wanted to, but you're just too lazy. Exactly, I don't trust myself to do anything dangerous. It's an interesting way of going about things. These bushes uh, haven't been trimmed in a long time. Looks like I'll need the axe to cut them down. Uh... Here we got... Okay, nothing going on over here. We can't get past these bushes yet. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, that's a big one. Uh, probably something they, uh... Hmm. 
looks familiar somehow, I wonder. Oh no. Must be something delicious if that's what Anna thinks. Uh, weapon shop. Uh, we sell high-end weapons and armor from all over the world. This sign is not here for testing your new weapons on it. Please don't do that. Uh, looks like there's some stuff back here. Let's see if I can squeeze through this gap. Oh yeah, once again, be sure to keep an eye out for gaps such as these. Ooh, an egg. Another area we'll be exploring later once we get our hands on some more resources and abilities. And more flair. We're finding quite a bit of stuff at the start of the game. Uh, let's see here. Wow, swords are so overrated. Okay, so we can buy some weapons from this person. Of course, we can't afford anything at the moment. Well, we can afford this pink flower, but... Uh, oh, Santa gear. I don't think this was in the base game. I think this is... Uh, some stuff they added in. Okay. Alright, well, for now, I'll go with the pink flower. I wonder if this is, like, something that's exclusive to the holidays. Specifically because, uh... It is... It is December when I'm playing this game. Like, when I'm currently recording this. But yeah, once again, similar to the... Epic Battle Fantasy 3, there is a lot to do... Right at the start of the game before even getting into the first area where we start, you know, actually doing stuff. So we got more NPCs to talk to here. Do you have some cacti for me? I'm a bit obsessed with them. Uh, you'll meet a lot of people looking for holy water, but uh, you should give it to me if you find any. I'll teach you how to use paper talismans. I think that's actually a pretty useful ability we'll want at some point. Also, I see that chest back there, but can tell I can't reach it. Oh, that feels good. Massage me more. Behind the ears, too. Oh, good morning. Uh, it's not morning anymore. Uh, you should stop sleeping all day and get that slime off your head. <laughs> not all slimes are bad. Some slimes are really f friendly, like slime bunnies and slime cats. Although, that's not a slime bunny and slime cat. Just so you know. Oh, man, I'm so tired. Oh, right. I was told to tell you to go to e east to Ashwood. There's not much else to do yet. Oh, there's something shiny in this bucket. Pay attention for anything on screen that looks shiny, because that's when you can find a secret item. Okay, back at the start of the game. What do we got over here? Uh, miscellaneous item shop. We buy and sell crafting materials and random loot. Check us out. Okay, so this is where you can find... Uh, buy and sell your materials. So rather than having, like, uh... Uh, metal urn. What now? Okay. I'm an alchemist uh, by profession, but I'm also a f fan of archery. I'll lend you a cool bow if you bring me some crafting materials. Okay, lots of quests we're getting our hands on here. An elemental resistance of more than 1,000 means that the target will absorb that element. But keep in mind that most attack damage is part elemental and part non-elemental, so the resistance will not apply to all of the damage. Sounds complicated. What about the resistance to status effects? A negative resistance means uh, the effect is more likely to work, and a positive resistance means it is less likely. 100% resistance to a status effect means it'll never work. Okay. Uh, all stat bonuses are relative to your current stats. Equipment uh, modifies your stats by a percentage, as do level ups, buffs, and stat boosting items. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, that means stats grow exponentially, whatever that means. Road to Ashwood Forest, your quest starts here. Be prepared for combat. Uh, so, once again, as you just saw, we collected another flare. Uh, randomly blesses the player. I forget what blessings do. I think those make you, like, immune to status effects, I think. Okay, keep an eye out. Once again, I see another shiny over here. There's usually some spare items lying, lying around here. I should check those stacks of firewood. Yeah, I saw something over there, and... Checking the stacks of firewood. Uh, oh, there was something there. Okay. Everything seems to be in order around here. It looks like the idols have finished all their chores today. Aw, oh, the wood idols are helping us all out. 
That's nice. Uh, anything else over here? I'm not seeing anything. Many creatures will become friendly with humans if they can benefit from it. You'll probably meet quite a few who will help you in battle, in return for eliminating their competitors. So I have to wipe out uh, monsters to earn favors from friendly ones? I guess that kind of makes sense. Me and Erica work together to make these wooden idols you see jumping around. I chop the wood and she brings it to life with her magic. You can make golems out of pretty much any material, but we've got a lot of wood here so that's what we use. I've heard of idols made from clay, ice, obsidian, and even rare gems. Ooh, okay. Wonder if we'll come across any of those on our adventure. Alright, one last area to explore here, then we'll be heading into the Ashwood Forest. They shouldn't leave meat out here. It'll attract dogs and bears and other animals. Hey Anna, I hear you've got quite a quest on your hands. Keep a lookout for rare food items like pizza or orange juice. There's a very limited supply of them, and you should save them for important battles. Yeah, obviously. I'm actually more interested in food items like ham or beef that can raise my stats permanently. I'll be eating those as soon as I find them. The old food shop seems to be getting a lot of customers lately. Food shop. We specialize in high calorie meals with active lifestyles. Make sure to stock up on supplies before heading out into the wilderness. Okay, so like always, we have our food shop here where you can buy, of course, healing items. So that'll be come in handy. Also, I see that piece of pizza back there. Uh, but yeah, once again, some items we can pick up here. Uh, these are, of course, permanent stat buff items. And last few NPCs to interact with here, and then we can get going on our adventure. First off, we have... Of course, we need that. Uh, what do we got here? What a disaster. This place doesn't sell bacon and eggs at this time. Oh, those were all the items we picked up on the tables. Okay. I'll give you something good if you make me a nice breakfast. Alright, what do you got to give me? Yes, finally. We haven't even st properly started fighting anything or going into any, any dangerous areas. And, like, we're already finding a lot of good stuff. Yes, finally. Um, no, no. We got another flare. Randomly cast slow down between turns. And then, uh, what do we got up here? Eating food is good for your health, especially if you're injured. If you plan on fighting monsters, you should uh, take some snacks with you. Thanks for the tip, Julie, but I think I've already figured out the fact that some people need to eat. You can also recover your HP and MP by simply waiting around, uh, but that's a bit slower. It doesn't cost you anything, though, so it's great at low levels. I've got a favor to ask of you. I'm making a new dress for myself, but I'm out of materials. If you help me out, I can give you my old one. Okay. And with that, I believe we've talked to everyone, so let's go ahead and head into the Ashwood Forest. Metal earned at deforestation problem. What's that metal for? I'm pretty sure the thieves went this way into Ashwood Forest. I guess I better get ready for battle now. Actually, never mind. I'm always ready. True, we haven't even, like, had to get anything yet. Anyway, what was that metal for? Enter Ashwood Forest for the first time. That's what the metal's for? Okay. Yo, Anna. I know you got something important to do, but it's pretty dangerous in Ashwood Forest right now. Are you sure you have everything you need? I can always uh, come back to the village later if I need more food. Plus, I can look after myself pretty well. Don't worry about me. Right, but if you need to warm up, uh, then you should fight with those idols over there. They're still pretty weak. Alright, warning danger. If you try talking to a foe, a battle will start, but you can always run away uh, if you want. There's no penalty. Think of that carefully. If you're ever in a tough scenario, you can, of course, do that. So, uh, let's get started on some battles. Hey there, buddy. Uh, why are you being so hostile today? So, a few things we can do. Uh, first off, we... Where is... Okay, I guess we don't have this summon yet. But uh, for now, let's just start on some battles. We have... First Blood. Some skills such as Normal Attack and Piercing Shot have different elemental properties and special effects depending on the user's current weapon. So yeah, focus carefully on the element of your weapon. Oh, Stagger. Yeah, next hit, take in 
will be a critical hit, so keep that in mind when you get the stagger effect. So this guy's next attack is... Yeah, that was a critical hit. More firewood for the village. Now, of course, these are just starter enemies, so they don't really offer a whole lot. And similar to previous games, simply walking around in the overworld will allow you to restore your health and mana. So like always, we have a variety of different skills that we'll be able to upgrade as we go throughout the game, as well as eventually collect materials to upgrade our gear. We'll get that all as we progress throughout the game. Now if I think about it, I don't think we equipped that yet. Also, I thought for sure that there was a certain summon we could use to, uh... Be able to get our hands on something. Bushes can be kept as pets if they're bred in captivity, but wild ones are pretty vicious. Yeah, so let's take care of the bush. Alright, bush is down. These are only basic enemies, so... We should just be able to easily take these guys down with regular attacks. And what do we got here? Okay, a few materials. Leaving only one enemy left. How many healing items do I have at the moment? For 200. Okay, I have some healing items. Actually, we have quite a bit. Even uh, Of course, we already have a couple of, you know, permanent stat buff items as well. Anyway, to get started, let's, uh... Well, what am I saying? We already started. Poison spells work well against most beasts, especially big ones. Oh, yeah, I think that was the... These are based on some of the flares that I picked up. Oh, a stun. So they can't even... Oh, my God. That might be useful at times in certain scenarios on enemies that can be stunned. Because if I'm just in the middle of battle and they get randomly stunned, that's useful. Alright, and here it uh, looks like Anna's found uh, our heroes. Aha! I found you. You'll pay for your crimes, you criminal. Oh no, I can't just drop this loot. I'm going to make a run for it and take some hits if I have to. Well, that didn't go well. Come on, Matt. You, you saved the world. I would think you'd think a bit more wisely than that. I mean, you could make the excuse here that he was kind of carrying around some heavy equipment. Uh, that, like, maybe he should have just, like, uh, waited or, like, actually took the time to put it down and properly fight her. Uh, again, though, it at least drives the plot forward. Justice has been served. Now return the green wood, wood jewel, you scumbag. Check the bag. It's probably in there. But the rest of the stuff is mine, so don't take anything else. Hmm. Nope, it's not in here. Your friends must have taken it. I guess you'll be my hostage until we catch up with them. They only stole garbage, I swear. They're not interested in shiny stuff. We're all totally innocent. Well then, you'll... You get then... Let's go have a look around. Oh, now we have a hostage. Interesting twist for sure that having Matt starting out as not a very likable guy. Anyway, over here we've got some other enemies to deal with. Oh, they're adorable, but they're also in the way, so... Oh, now we get the scan bot summon. Okay. Also... How is Matt back down to level 1? I'm just gonna say that now. I get that this is like a new game and all, and you gotta have a, uh, them back at level 1, but considering the fact that the previous game had such a nice way of offering up a story-driven reason as of how the heroes got sent back to level 1, I feel kind of disappointed that they, they're just all back at level 1, and it's never explained how in this particular game. Anyway... Like always, uh, Matt has his usual abilities, along with some new ones, such as Geyser, which is a water attack. 
So water skills, while there was a water counter attack that I think randomly gets casted with one of Matt's weapons, I don't think water was really like that much of a well known useful ability or anything back in the previous Epic Battle Fantasy. Also, when you look at uh, monster descriptions, there's a lot more detail to them, allowing you to think more carefully about uh, what you want to attack and how you should attack it. I hope there's better things to eat around here than bats, but I shouldn't complain. They still taste better than what I usually eat. Hmm, I thought alcohol was supposed to be bad for dogs. I guess I know nothing. Oh, and they got the berserk status effect. Okay, we should probably take that one down then if it if it's going berserk. Uh, what's it weak to? It's weak to water, so let's use geyser on it. Uh, what are Ana's current specials? Is it weak to any earth attacks? Does not look like it. It is weak to poison. We also have wind magic. That's something to keep in mind as we play. Dodge this. I dare ya. So yeah, keep an eye out on the abilities that you have at your disposal when playing. Once again... Oh, those guys drop a lot more XP. And what do we got up here? We got that. And then why not, uh, now that we have the scan ability? And of course, the enemies haven't respawned yet. I'm gonna quick head out, because I actually want to uh, scan everything. So I'm just going to quick scan these guys here. Alright, new data for that. And they're weak to earth attacks. Earth attacks are mighty strong against their foes close to the ground, I guess. Uh, taking damage fills up... Okay, I know how limit breaks work. We don't really need to look into that. Alright, let's go with a piercing shot on you. And then have Matt uh, use a regular attack to finish them off. Alright, one more of these idols and uh, we can move on then. Alright, now we have their descriptions. So now, oh wait, no, no, no. Oh yeah, they're... There's also a list of the recently used abilities, so if you're wanting to quick use the same attack again or ability, you can just do that and just quick get it out of the way. Very useful in specific scenarios. Uh, why don't we look at some more of Anna's abilities, starting with her gust attack, which is wind magic. Water, I would think, heal these Oh, no, it doesn't heal these guys? Oh, well, they're going down anyway. Oh, yeah, this particular sword still does that. My love for swords has given me the ability to create them from thin air. Alright, this guy should just go down with some regular attacks. Anna is... Oh, probably just one experience point away from leveling up. Uh, let's see how the skills are looking. Can we upgrade anything yet? We can get Renew, which is basic healing magic. Not the most useful, but it helps. We also have Refresh Advanced Healing Magic. Heals an ally and blesses the target. Uh, again, lots more abilities we'll be getting later. Also, make sure you save often, like most RPGs. Health points. At yep, I know how health points work. Okay, these guys are... Guys are highly highly weak to wind magic, so why don't we cast some wind magic on these guys? And since they're flying it, okay, that won't work on them. None of Matt's abilities will really work on these guys, so why don't we see how much damage a regular attack deals? Okay, does that generic weak back enemy swing attack? It wasn't very effective. That one down, and take this one down. And we got our slime enemies. Magic points. Yeah, I know how to use magic game. Also, another little new thing. Oh, okay. Slimy situation. 
What? Oh, this feels kind of nice, actually. Oh, this is the slime status effect. Uh, cannot take a turn. It cannot catch items. Stats greatly reduced. No cure exists except death or time. So Natalie's stuck like that now until, you know, uh, until, you know, that the turns end or if she dies. So why don't we use this turn to uh, maybe heal since we are... Both of us are running a bit low on health. And this is a pretty large wave of enemy. That doesn't even heal. Alright, well at least we got an achievement for first casualty. Do we even have any revival items though? Okay, we do. Good. Probably unnecessary, but uh, oh well. Once again, scan bot, scan at the new foes. But yeah, I forgot slimes could do that, just a random... Why does everyone keep aiming for for Anna? My goodness. Alright, let's unleash... What do I want to unleash on these guys? They're weak to poison, but I don't have a lot of useful abilities. So why don't we... Let's start by taking out the slimes, just to make sure they don't go turning Matt into a slime as well. Come on, square... What? Alright, we gotta be careful here. How much damage does that deal to us? Okay, we have our limit break. Can I use Cleaver? Yes, okay. Let's see if Cleaver finishes these guys off. Okay, good. My Swordsman has the ultimate multi-slash attack. That's me. I'm not going to be the original here. Uh, of course, Anna unfortunately doesn't get anything because she was dead when that happened. Yeah, I should give these two a moment to heal. Well, I don't belong here. I'll die for sure. It's a good th thing there's an autosave feature, just in case I forget to save manually. Oh yeah, I should probably save now. Yep, take his words into account because... Uh, Looks like this shortcut to Wapefall Town is blocked off. Oh well, I've got more th important things to worry about right now. Okay, that's up ahead. I am gonna, of course, quickly save my progress. And I don't quite know if I'm ready for these enemies up ahead just yet. Had Anna not been turned into a slime that last battle, I wouldn't be having this problem. Yet here we are. I am gonna quick head back to the village and get to that slime bunny to heal. Because we need it. Even though by the time we probably got back there, we probably would have already been at full health. Anyway. Also, we should occasionally keep an eye on our quests to see, like, whenever we have the materials for certain side quests. Just a little something to keep in mind. Alright, anyway. Wasps are already followed by more more wasps. So take them out quickly before the rest show up. Alright, good thinking. Let's hurry up and take them down. Wait, these are red wasps. Okay, let's take them out quickly. Wait, the holy attacks. Okay, and of course nothing Matt has is highly effective on them. So I can only use regular attacks on them with Matt. And, oh boy, they're casting some dangerous status effects. So let's take them out quickly. I said quickly. Lost mission. Life is to mess your day up. So that's clearly all they do. They don't even pollinate flowers. Is that true? I thought wasps pollinated flowers. I could be wrong, though, in terms of thinking that. Alright, come on. Only one, one, Only one is left. There we go. They drop some pretty good XP. Level up. So now we're stronger. Ooh, new flare. Increases fire and burn resistance. Okay. I mean, uh... Anna's already equipped with some good flares, so... Let's give Matt that for now. Again, be sure to save often. And what do we got now? Let's start by taking out the wasp. Because, yeah, if, ta if keeping the wasp on screen causes more wasps to come out, we should definitely take them out quickly. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I haven't activated Natalie's Limit Break yet. Poisons all foes, blesses all allies. Yeah, that's what Mother Earth does. I don't think I want to do that just yet. For the time being, I want to keep attacking. Alright, and... Regular attack should finish them both off. Act backs have high it. Evade. At least they don't have much HP. Alright, yeah, this guy should go down rather quickly. There we go. With another chest containing some items. Oh, I saw something shiny. By the way, you're really strong for surviving an arrow to the head. I'm impressed. Most people would die from that, unless you don't have a brain. Nah, that's impossible. That was nothing. I'm a warrior. I can survive anything. Uh, set me free and I'll help you find that thingy you were looking for. I don't trust you yet. You and your friends have quite the reputation as troublemakers. Is that so? Well, it's all lies. I've never stolen anything until today. Wow, a thief and a liar. Uh, where have I heard that before? I feel like I've heard that phrase somewhere else as well. I forgot why I... Oh yeah, because I saw something by this mushroom. Okay, it looks like there are two paths we can take here. Why don't we start with this path? We need water skills, and I happen to have one. Of course, for that though, let's whip out our scan bot to scan this foe. Then let's go ahead and unleash the water. Because those guys are unleashing their berserks. So we be oh good, that one's getting stunned. And it dodged it. Okay. Matt, you unleash geyser on this one. Ability points. Yeah, I know how ability points work. And a piercing shot on you. Alright, gotta be careful here, cuz. Ow! Oh, yeah, I forgot about the burn status effect. Although I thought. No, I'm thinking of something else. All right, we just got to take these guys down. Wait, no, that's not going to do anything. Just, a uh, cat. Of course it misses. Why wouldn't it? Okay, I need to start doing some healing here. Otherwise, we might be in a bit of trouble. So why don't we start by... Matt can't use any more attacks. So we're kind of on our own for abilities. Since I know something else might be coming up in the future, I'm going to use a renew to... That healed barely anything. Oh, that would have t easily taken out the other guy. And... Oh! Okay. Well, that's uh, good to know. Give me a moment to uh, quickly heal that up, if you may. Jeez, they're really going all out on Anna. Not sure how much longer I can keep this up. Okay, is that everything? Of course not. And that's probably going to kill her. Yep. Of course, Matt doesn't have any more abilities to do that. So I'm going to revive Anna. And why don't we have Anna cast her limit break on this one? Pray to the great mother of nature for support in this battle. I always recycle, so I think I deserve this favor. Okay, I may be in a bit of trouble because I don't have enough. I'm just going to keep reviving Anna just to keep us all alive. What are this thing's weaknesses? My, let's try... Let's try using a uh, Gaia Seed, since we haven't gotten to use that yet. Alright, that doesn't do a whole lot, but... Uh, 
That does work a little. Okay. Good thing we have plenty of coffees at the moment, because... I know I said it to epic bit difficulty, but this is pretty tough for the start of the game. Sometimes I want to punch myself in the face to fill up my limit bar faster, but that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Alright, Anna leveled up again. Alright. So where did your thieving friends run off to then? I don't know, they ditched me because I was carrying too much. Natalie can't run though, so she's probably nearby. Lance is good at hiding, so we won't find him if he doesn't want us to. I see. Well, we need uh, to go this way anyway. There's someone important in the forest that I need to talk to. This forest is turning out to be more alive th than I would like it to be. Heh, <laughs> these vines are harmless, just as long as you don't snag yourself on them. Okay. Lots of enemies over here. I'm still in the middle of healing from that last battle, so I'm gonna go this way for a little bit. And see what all we got over here. These idle guys would look a bit more menacing if they weren't only a foot tall. And like always, Scambot, what do you see about this? These are definitely different style idols. These are the Obsidian Idols. Water only and... Okay, why don't we just unleash regular attacks since they're just idols. And of course they do a lot of damage. Alright, after this battle I should take the time to probably... Level up some of my abilities. Well, actually, for this particular round, why don't we have... And a focus on healing, since I don't think you can do a whole lot this round. Uh, Alright, let's see how much uh, we can do with what. Oh, that instantly takes them out. Okay. Of course, they're trying to weaken his accuracy. So I'm betting that's going to miss. Yep. Alright, let's cast some wind magic. Maybe I'll finish that one. This is just disappointing. Alright, I'm just going to keep having Anna heal Matt until he can eventually get back into the fight. He's got to land a hit eventually. Of course, not if those guys keep attacking like that. Also, why did I use that on the weaker one? Alright, let's use a Muffin on Matt. Then have him defend this turn. Of course, like always, that misses. Oh, that one burnt Anna rather than... Okay, and that just keeps missing. That's great. Could you stop doing that to Matt? Alright, just to finish you off, I'm going to cast Gust on you. Just so we can hurry up and finish you off and get a move on. Alright, I need to get you... But, oh, okay. Great. Well, of course that hits. So let's cast some basic wind magic to him. So we can make sure that one goes down. Matt needs to consume another muffin because he has so little max MP for some reason. Okay. Cast Geyser. So better work this time. Okay, good. Then I'm gonna get cast a Bless so Anna doesn't die. Should eventually upgrade that though because, yeah, that's not a whole lot. Anna is going to die again if we don't do anything. Alright, so hit you. 
I'm just gonna cast my limit break. Just so these guys hurry up and uh, go down. Because I don't want Anna to miss out on XP again. Because now she's technically weaker than Matt right now. Okay, up next we have... I'll get back to that chest eventually. For now, I want to talk to these NPCs. These guys don't look too experienced. Let me give you some awesome advice. If you want to learn some healing skills quite early on, so you don't have to rely on items too much, it's also a good idea to get your first limit break skills soon. Wow, like that's totally not obvious. Stas problems like poison go away after battle, and it, uh, you'll even be uh, revived if you died. But leaving your allies dead during battle to save on items probably is a good idea. Well, that's debatable. If you're using the same elemental skills a lot, check if you have a weapon that boosts the power of that element. Enemies uh, in each area usually have similar weaknesses. For example, a lot of enemies here are weak against poison or water. It's hard to tell what en element enemy attacks are, uh, but you can get a rough idea from their bestiary info and from the visual effects of the attack. Good to know. Oh yeah, so sometimes we'll be dealing with locks like these that will require certain keys uh, for us to get our hands on to use them. Also, I believe right up here we should be getting our hands on. Yeah, there we are. Aha, there's Natalie. Uh, we should take her with us, because uh, she'll die out here. Plus, she can do spells and stuff. Alright then. Wow, she's really pretty. I guess she sh uh, should be useful to have around if she's a mage. Matt, you're alive. Me and Nolakes watched you die. It was horrifying. Anna spared my life because I'm such an awesome guy. Uh, we need it to help her find the Greenwood Jewel or she'll never forgive us. I'm going up ahead. Feel free to join me when you're done with your dramatic reunion. Oh good, there's a uh, bucket here. On with the chest. Your chances of hitting a target depend on the ratio of your accuracy to the enemies evade. If your accuracy is higher, you'll always hit them. However, some attacks have lower or higher accuracy than normal, so you may have to factor that in too. Ashwood used to be a part of Greenwood, but then a meteorite smashed into it, and it, well, uh, it looks a bit different now. It's a pretty good place for hunting, though, since uh, there's a much bigger variety of monsters showing up. Okay, so I think, while there's still lots more for us to do in this area, I think I'm going to be ending this episode here. Wow, Natalie's at a pretty high level already. I feel like I'm going a bit too far ahead too quickly. This is what I'm doing. But with that being said, uh, yeah, time is a bit running out, so I'm going to stop it here. We're off to a decent start. Still a little bit disappointed how low level everyone is early on in the game. Uh, also, Natalie has a unique sticker of uh, randomly casting no legs between turns. That's neat. So yeah, like always, some unique stuff to use. So, uh, with that being said, though... Oh, what's the silver blade? That's another weapon Matt has. Main debuff targets evade, boosts the power of wind skills, counterattacks with swift slash. Interesting. Well, so far, nothing's really gonna beat Heaven's Gate for now, since I'm pretty sure Heaven's Gate is like Matt's most iconic sword in the series. Like, Matt's always had this weapon ever since, like, the first Epic Battle Fantasy. I mean, a lot of the swords Matt uses he's had since the first Epic Battle Fantasy, but, uh... I mean, for being the most well-known of them, that one is pretty well-known. Anyway, with that being said, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for next time. And until then... This is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent, everyone.